there's a perception that the, in the Bermuda Triangle, the stretch between Bermuda and kind of two different bits of the Americas, it's this idea that if you had a whoosh of methane bubbles from the seafloor, it could sink a ship. Imagine that there is a place on the seafloor where there's stored methane gas underneath and something shifts about and you get this big sort of whoosh of bubbles that's rising up through the sea to the surface. The first thing is that this whoosh of gas is going to break up into small bubbles really, really quickly. It doesn't rise as one massive great big bubble because the top would just fall in. As the bubbles move upwards, they're dragging liquid with them and that liquid has momentum so it sort of whooshes up above the surface you can see whether the ship falls into the bubbles or gets carried up by all this liquid moving upwards. And it's very clear, it's always the same, it exactly matches the theory. As the whoosh of bubbles comes up, it pushes up on the ship much more strongly than the ship is falling into the bubbles. And the ship just gets carried off to the side. And theoretically, there is a way this could sink a ship. If a ship was off to one side and it was tilted over by the whoosh coming up to the side of it and it shipped water there, Potentially that could sink a ship, except that every ship is built to prevent that from happening. It's built with airtight compartments underneath so that waves washing over the sides won't sink it. The bubbles actually make the ship go up, not down, and methane bubble releases in the Bermuda Triangle definitely do not sink ships. <laughs>